The Pacers have reached the backstretch, and they are underway in the Saturday night opener. And Speed coming from the outside and rock the town immediately to the engine. Two lengths in front of Warp Factor 3 who moves up to second, followed by Border Control inside third. Next up there, Dr. Drake Ramore, while Jeremy's general, who initially was making a play for the lead, now drafts back into a tuck fifth. Two and a half back to Brohan over six, then concur in the early trailer Wagon Master. Rock the town on top to the quarter in a quick 27 even. First time past the faithful, and they've got a slight win in their face on the front stretch. Rock the town just missed last time. Has the early edge for George Knapp with Warp Factor 3, the 9-5 to five favorite in his hip pocket for Simon Allard. Length and a half back to Border Control third, followed by Dr. Drake Ramore in from Yonkers. Jeremy's general fifth. Bro Hanover starts to move to the outside looking for cover. Then concur, Wagon Master also on the outside. Up on, up on the lead there, Rock the Town, the half mile, 54 and 4, 28 and 2. Second panel, fractions are swift. And Rock the Town just keeps on keeping on here, extending his lead out to two. Warp Factor 3 suddenly losing ground as the pace quickens. Two and a half back to Border Control, third. Bro Hanover never found any cover. That's a long first over. John for him, eight off the pace. Dr. Drake Ramore inside fifth. Then Jeremy's general, Wagon Master, and concur. Her. Three quarters, 121 and 3, 26 and 4, hung up on the back. It's a heat check there for Rock the Town, his lead a length and a half. Warp Factor 3, still close enough to close. On the outside, Brohan over his four away third, then Border Control fourth. Top of the stretch, Rock the Town trying to summon a little bit more, but Warp Factor 3 bearing down him on the outside. It's Warp Factor 3, Rock the Town can hold him back no longer. And Warp Factor 3 takes over late for Simon Allard. Warp Factor 3 pays away at the end by three lengths. Looks like Border Control gets second with Jeremy's general third and Brohan over fourth from the pocket. Warp factor three in 150 and three-fifths. Fraction set by Rock the Town even faster than last week, but the result was the same. He just couldn't hold on in the lane. And in this case, Warp Factor 3, who was lurking in the pocket for the whole mile, made up about a length and a half, which is where he was at the uh, end of three quarters from the leader and zipped on past as the rest pursued. Judges have posted the unofficial order of finish race number one, number five, Warp Factor three, finished first, number two, Border Control, finished second, number three, Jeremy's General, finished third, and number four, Bro Hanover, finished fourth, unofficially five, two, three, four in race one. Moving into the Hanover Shoe Farms winner's circle, unofficial winner of tonight's first race, first half of the early daily double, number five, Warp Factor 3 is an 8-year-old bay gelding by Mach 3 out of A&G's Dream by Pacific Rocket. Bred by Willie Tomlin of New York, owned by Allard Racing Incorporated, St. Esprit, Quebec, Canada, VIP Internet, Stable, LLC, Piscataway, New Jersey. Rene Allard, the trainer, he's the meet's leading trainer. That's his 50th win on the meets. He's the first trainer to that margin. And uh, Simon Allard, the driver, Warp Factor 3, the 9-5 to five betting favorite. After hitting the board in five of his last six in this class without getting the victory tonight, Scores that win, his first since March 30th. It's his fifth win in 14 this year, 25th lifetime and career earnings over $255,000 with a winning time of 150 and 3, which is a new lifetime mark for number five, Warp Factor 3.